All right, before we get the bit video started, I want to tell y'all a couple of quick things. Number one, there's a new braid coming out from Sunline. This right here is called the AMZ. They make it in orange, make it in green for, you know, casting, spin reels, whatever you want to do. In this video right here, all my braid applications, I was actually using the AMZ. And we actually got a giveaway right now where you can win this before you can actually buy it. It's not even released to the public yet, but you can win this braid before it's even you know open to the public so leave a comment down below every person that comments if you got nothing else comment just comment and say amz whatever so every person that comments on this post my last post and then anything on instagram also go check out sunline they're the one doing the giveaway they got some pretty cool youtube videos also where they do some not stuff and do some stuff like that so go check out their youtube also and another thing is these new 13 fishing muse rods will be launching friday so We've been working on these for a year or so now. Been using these a lot recently. You see me use some in this video right here, but these will be launching Friday. So go check out the Muse Rods too. So that's it. Couple of new things. Just want to keep y'all up to date on. We'll be picking a winner for the giveaway Monday the 26th. Yep, the winner for the giveaway will be Monday, June the 26th. And it's gonna, so, be, it's gonna be on a video that where we answer all of your most common questions over the last couple months. Cause we've been so busy with these tournaments. We haven't been able to answer a lot of the questions. So we're just gonna take a day answer all the questions and announce all the giveaway winners and number one question will be is it spin real time well, the next three that's already easy the next three is spin real time people's so, been asking what that orange line is yep the orange braid that is it that's so the what sunline. is it tell me about it sunline amz it's an eight strand braid has a very has pretty much no coating on it and makes it very very smooth very very slick cast super well like cast phenomenal and that's the reason I like it for a frog too. I thought the 60 green on a frog, I've been doing that for a while now. It just casts, you can put brand new braid on, it casts so well when it's brand new. And that's what I like a lot. Cause I like to change my line a lot, but obviously you got the fluorescent orange right here for, you know, so you can see your line when it's falling and stuff like that. But it'll be available in a couple different colors, but it's just an eight strand braid that's super soft, super limp and cast super, super well. So I'm really excited about this. This is probably, my, it's going to be for sure the braid line that I use for everything, every single thing. From now on, only kind of braid line I'll use right there. So, pretty cool. All right, Championship Sunday starts right, right now. now. All right, day four, Sabine River Bassmaster Elite. Haven't been able to say that in quite a while, day four. You know, haven't made a top ten, and I think my last one was last time we were here. So last year didn't make any at all, and have not made one this year. So it's been, been a little while, but, you know, seven pounds out of the lead today we're just gonna go have fun if a miracle happens it happens but just gonna try to go out there and catch a bunch of fish have a good time you know i love fishing this type of fishing It'd be a little more fun if they were two pounders whenever you set the hook on them but i like you know you're getting 25 30 bites a day you know catching a lot of keepers I and mean, it's it's really fun out there fishing they're just not all that big but hopefully today we can string together a couple of big ones move up a couple places but for the most part all we're going to do is keep setting the hook and hoping that a couple of them are two pounds or bigger. You know, there's really big fish in the area that I'm in. I've caught some fours, some threes, and some over two. A lot of people have. And there'll be a lot less boats in that area today, so maybe it'll hunker down and get four or five of those nice bites. But just kind of see how it goes. We're just going to go out there and have a good time and pull on a few today. All right, day four, Sabine River here, Bassmaster Elite. You know, it's really cool to make the top 10. We're kind of out of contention as far as the win, unless a miracle happens, but we're gonna try to just go out there, have a good time today, set the hook a bunch, hopefully stumble into a couple big ones and make it interesting, but we're just gonna go have a good time today. Are you really gonna be having a good time? Yeah, I can't fall but two Are places. Are you gonna be smiling out there? Maybe. No, you're gonna be serious. He's still gonna be running around. He's gonna make about eight. No. Oh, I'm going to try to catch them big. I'm going to try to do the best I can. But, you know, seven pounds back. And you know, that, that man right there will have about 11 pounds by, by 10 o'clock. The last two mornings I've had it by 6.30. Dude, that's nice, dude. That's how <laughs> my first morning was. My first bite was a four-pounder. My third bite was a three-pounder. I had 10 and a half pounds in 30 minutes. Yeah, I mean... It can happen when you get around, dude, because they're aggressive. Yeah. Did you just, you just try to get bring around. you Dairy Queen yesterday on the one? No. I, I told my cameraman, I was like, you could go get me a blizzard, <laughs> but you better make <laughs> no, sure it's still frozen when you get here. Oh, I thought that was somebody on the bank that was actually going to go get you one. I was like, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it was just kind of an inside joke. He you, was, you catch a bunch I, in Taylor's yesterday? 
I caught six or seven. Keepers? Yeah. Yeah, I think you could go in there and catch six pounds and probably still win. Probably. I, I probably wouldn't feel comfortable until I got about 11. Oh, no, I, I understand. But, but you still have, you would have a shot if you caught, yeah. went in there and caught six or six and a half. I probably caught 25 keepers yesterday. Yeah. But I caught a bunch. Yesterday they were mostly between a pound and a quarter and a pound and a half. Yeah. I caught a, I caught a bunch of keepers yesterday that were smaller than normal, like a point ninety. Yesterday, uh, every day I've gone over there, but I haven't got there before 11 yet, but every day, yesterday's first day I haven't cold over there. Yeah. I was headed over there at like nine o'clock the second day, so I caught ten pounds pretty quick. I got all the way to the Taylor Canal, and my boat lost power, like motor, electronics, everything. So yeah. I finally got it back running. I ran all the way back, and they finally figured. It took them like an hour to figure out what the problem was. It was uh, X2 cranking battery, the terminal broke on it. Yeah. And uh, figured it out, and I was like, man, I burned 18 gallons. I don't know if I can make it. So I ran. <laughs> I ran 5,000 RPMs all the way over there. <laughs> Did you call? I called twice. Yeah, yeah. that was worth it. So, so look at the light. Oh, look that. And then that, that way I'll get, and it's gonna be a tight shot, so. All right, man, thank you, good luck. Thank you. So was it just the one or did you show them both? I just showed one. Okay, so tell me what it is, color doesn't matter, just tell me um, what the bait is and then the weight is and the trailer, if right. it's something you want to yeah. highlight. All right, this is a quarter ounce untamed tackle Apex swim jig with a Rapala cleanup crawl. Perfect. It's actually called a crush shitty cleanup crawl. From the other. You like this? Yeah, um, can you put it on the rod? Yep. You're on the rod or the reel? Uh, uh, on the reel. Reel? Yeah. I'm gonna scoot the fourth for me, like right here. Playing on it. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going back over there today? Yeah, okay. I guess. I don't know where else to go. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll probably see you over there. Yeah. Today. I pray that you give them safety. Pray God that you would give them patience. Pray God they would make good decisions today. We love you. Give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. But so Two minutes until we officially kick off the final day of competition, Championship Sunday, here at the Bulls of Honor. Fast, fast. Five, four, three, two, one. Leading them out, your day three leader, a five-time Elite Series bridesmaid, trying to change all those two for a one today, from Mississippi, Brock Mosley. He's a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's your current leader in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points from Alabama, so Cole Kyle Welcher. He's a six-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier. He's a Bassmaster Open winner from Old Michigan, Chad Pickens. He's a multi-sport phenom. Phenom, a former motocross racer, now makes his living on the Bassmaster Elite Series. His second top 10 of 2023. A three-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Newcomers Town, Ohio, Hunter Shryock. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. Heck yeah.
pound three quarter one there. Check. Dude, that was a good one when he bit it. Mm -hmm. What is he? Pound three quarter. He's a pretty one. When you flip in there and them reeds go shake to shaking, you just hold on. Because he's coming. That one's over a pound. That's a pound two or. Dude, every time I see them feathers, I'm like, that's crazy. <laughs> mm-hmm. First one in the tournament on this bait. Well, he got it right. He built a little bit better. It's a good one. Pound a quarter. That will do something. All day long. Do it, son. Ate that old swim jig. Two. 
Yep. Tangled up. A chunky one. I lost him yesterday. Remember that? <laughs> I literally lost him yesterday. Good old one pounder. That's probably why he came off yesterday. He didn't have half a lip right there. Still got some feathers floating in there from that bird yesterday. We'll leave them in there just for aesthetics. <laughs> and with that, we roll through another. This one is our brand new leader in progressive insurance, Bassmaster Angler of the Year points. He has made seven Bassmaster top tens. He is a two-time Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Our brand new leader in progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year points started the day with 27 pounds, 11 ounces. Needs 9 1 to take the lead. Twenty-seven eleven as of the first three days. Looking for nine pounds and an ounce. Eight eleven moves into second place, just six ounces short of the overall lead. But we're gonna dig deep in that VMC weigh-in bag. And you know how to do it, Orange, Texas. Get loud for your progressive Bassmaster Angler of the Year leader, Stone Cold Kyle Welcher. Man, a great tournament, 36 pounds, 6 ounces. You're one of only three anglers that has made every 50 cut. But here on Championship Sunday and three events ahead, and you're leading Angler of the Year. And I, I know, you know, people are going to paint you as as a southern guy and say, well, he's gonna go up north where it's gonna be tough, but I think you're starting to figure up those northern fish and this is gonna be a very interesting conclusion to the season. Yeah, it, it, you know, it definitely could be. Last year I had a really bad year, but actually my, my best finish last year was on the St. Lawrence River with a, you know, 15 brown one. So, I mean, lakes like this, I feel a lot more comfortable, but I plan on going up there and catching me some. How did you catch them here this week? So I caught them a lot of different ways, like Chad said, I really fished the conditions, you know, where I was at, the water would move in and out. And whenever the water would move in, I would get on a certain type of bank. When it would start to move out, I would, move, I would get on the traditional undercut channel swing type of bank. So as soon as I saw that water start to switch, I would move around a little bit. And then the baits changed every single day. The first two days, I caught everything I weighed on a swim jig. And then yesterday, I had to catch them flipping. And then today, I caught most of them on a frog, actually. So I was pretty happy about that. A lot of fun to catch them that way. But one thing we were talking about on live is... Is not only are you catching them real good, but you have grown quite a head of lettuce there on, on top of your head. Is this helping you? Is the power in the hair? Well, what actually happened with that, I was trying to get a haircut before Okeechobee, and I couldn't get it. So I went to Okeechobee, and I made the cut. Then I went to Seminole, and I made the cut. And I said, well, I'm going to cut it the night that I miss a cut. And so far, it's been growing. Well, hopefully it keeps growing and growing. I know you're looking forward to the rest of the season. And, uh, hey, ponytails go good with Angler of the Year trophies. Anything goes good with Angler of the Year trophies. Thank you, Orange. I appreciate it. It's been a phenomenal week. Let's hear it for him. Another great finish.